Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at the early access release of Grounded, the latest game from Obsidian that is about a bunch of kids who have been shrunken down and dropped into their backyard to survive. So, you know, it's, it's very much Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in playable form. Now this is a survival crafting type game, so you kind of know what to expect there, except it's full of giant insects. Now, they even warn you when you first launch this, they're like, hey, this game contains spiders that are way bigger than you, does that creep you out? And then they have a, uh, <laughs> arachnophobia safe mode here. So, there's what they look like by default, and it's a slider, it's not just an on or off, so then you've got, like, they kind of shrink down, they lose some legs, and then they just become a floating ball, which kind of seems more horrifying to me. And then they're a cutesy floating ball. And then a bloated floating ball. And then just a marshmallow with no texture. <laughs> I kind of want to turn that on when we're actually in-game just to see how that looks. Thankfully, they, while this does require a Xbox account to sign in for multiplayer, it doesn't need one for single player. Which uh, is good, because I don't want to deal with that whole fucking Windows Connect even though I have an Xbox account. Still got bad memories of Games for Windows Live not working the way it's supposed to. Alright, so let's get in here. So, apparently, the story stuff is only like 10 to 15 minutes in this current release. So, I think we're mostly just be wandering around checking out the giant insects. Which I'm excited to see. Alley hoop. Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. Please don't actually have a name, Willow Branch. Hey, nice to meet you. The name's Max. Maxwell Smalls. My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. That's it? That's your whole introduction? <laughs> I don't know if I want to go with any of these. But let's go with Pete, because, you know... He's a fitting one for being shrunken by his scientist dad. Mode selector, teen selector begin. So this is designed around co-op. Not like, you know, your normal survival game kind of bunch of people in there who can kill you and take your stuff. It's just up to four people against the world. Alright. Whoa! Pete! Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. What the hell the is this? Alright, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. We came out of this tiny body box. Alright, I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity. Somehow it is always too high with this mouse. I think I just hit no. Put it like 37. W to apply for some reason. Alright. I'd say that this is stylistically a very different looking game from Obsidian's normal stuff, but then Outer Worlds, I think, kind of has this look to it. Which I still haven't played. I bought it when it came out, and I still haven't even started it. Wow, even look at the size of that though everybody is, uh... Improved baseball. It's the size of my dang house. Ant. Mom and Dad are not going to be happy about this. Well, Pete, you always wanted to go on an adventure. Oh gosh, Pete, what have we gotten ourselves into? Do you want to be my ant friend? They had an ant friend in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Does that ant only have four legs? Come here, I need to examine your authenticity. Oh. I think he is taking his food back to the hive. I mean, that'd be cool if they actually have, you know, natural behaviors that they're supposed to follow and not just... They're there to kill you. I think that's an aphid over there. Peblet. Yep, that is a very cutesy little aphid. Ah! I almost killed it with that rock. 
That small, small rock. Uh-oh. Threat engaged. Uh, those are little red mites. Take that sprig. I'm just, like, discovering recipes, picking shit up. I'm not even really noticing what I'm picking up. Obviously, the first thing we need is a tool. That thing's still fucking following me? Get out of here. Lawn mite. Oh, we might have killed it. Mite fuzz. We can make a mite hat out of it. Okay. There's a... There's a whole troop of ants going somewhere. Do we have a map? Okay, we do have a map. Sort of. There's me. There's the baseball. I suppose we don't have, like, an objective yet? Quests. Investigate surroundings. Look around you to see what you can find. Alright, so I can make a spear. I need two sprigs, plant fibers, and a peblet. Mite hat, which requires a workbench. Fiber bandage. I'm not sure why that counts as a snack. Sap. Roasting spit. Yeah, so just pick up shit for now. Got a... Beetle? No, I think that's a weevil. What does that glow mean? Is that just ant hostility? I think they're they're trying to kill that weevil. See, they're like kind of friendly when they come up to you. I like that they have that kind of translucent effect when they walk through the light. Sprig. So that should be enough to make a peblet spear. Alright, now we can defend ourselves against mites. A little slurp. Find water. Can I pet the ant? I feel like that was an option. No, it's just because it was something I could pick up. It's probably the size of a, a bathroom scale? Mysterious machine. I am examining it. I mean, I like this stuff. There isn't really a lot of games where you are a tiny something exploring these large areas. I feel like I can't actually do anything in here. I bet I could live in here. I think I hear a bee or a fly. Is that a fly? It doesn't seem like it could be something hostile. Oh, there's one of them trapped in there. Are you hostile? Ow. Uh, very slightly? Alright, we found water. Do we really want to drink this? Clearly, we're too small for bacteria. Okay, we need to find some food. Christ, is just constantly throwing stuff at me. Do this. No, wait, do this first. Alright, we got these little mushrooms. Picked up a mushroom. You can eat consumable items via the inventory menu. I need you to stop that. These gnats are just as annoying when you are tiny as when you are large. Nat fuzz and raw gnat meat. Tasty. Better than starving, I think. Alright, well, it didn't poison me, so that's good. Okay, now I need to find clean water. <laughs> the noises they make are clearly just someone going like...
We got moisture here, but it's not clean water. Okay, well, I've got a quest marker for this. Clay. Ice Caps Mint Container. Hmm. I think these are more just landmarks than anything specifically useful. I don't think we can harvest anything out of these giant mints. Field station. Clearly, we're not the only tiny people around here. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. So we can analyze resources here, and I don't know if that'll just reveal more recipes for them. We got raw science. No new recipes. Peblet axe. Well, we need that. Okay, and then it takes like 10 minutes for more charges. Woven fiber. Okay. So we want to go back to the mysterious machine. Kind of curious what that call is off in the distance. These plant fibers. And if I make woven fiber, it probably will give me a new recipe as well. Or not. No, it did. Heblet hammer. A basic busting tool necessary to pound large things into smaller, more partable particles. Let's break the bow. Okay, so let's make an axe. So we can get better plant material. There is a mite eating that gnat. I think that's one of the ones we killed. So, what exactly? I need to investigate about this thing. Target. Activate. Emergency. Power. Science. Turn the science all the way up. I don't know what it wants me to do with this. Or like something I need to plug back in, a loose wire or something. Minent practical technologies. Input. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it wants me to do with this. Emergency. Sap. Dry grass chunk. 
Okay, now we can make a torch. Canteen. How to be made from grub hide that can be used to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slurp. Oh, we haven't seen any grubs to uh, dehyde. Aphid honeydew. Honeydew. Sweet secretion from aphids that restores a small amount of thirst. <laughs> Does that count as clean water? Choke it down, Pete. Oh, it's worse than Dad's Brussels sprouts. It's like sugar water. It's not like you're eating ant bits. Or maybe I accidentally did eat one of the ant bits. Or mite bits. I suppose we kind of just wander at this point, see what we find. Grass plank. Acquired by chopping down grass with an axe. So yeah, this is basically trees. So I could build with these. I'm not sure how to do that. I feel like we need a tool for building as well. Oh, is this clean water? No water filtration tablets needed. I mean, that didn't really teach us where it comes from. Cloverleaf. That we can carry. I assume we can also boil water instead of just finding droplets. I mean, I like the way this game looks so far. Hmm. Spider webs, eh? Hmm. Spiders, eh? Oh, there's also a signal around here, though. Uh-oh. Something's coming out. Oh, it's just one of you. I thought the spider noticed me, but apparently not. So, our spear does have durability, but it looks like the durability is pretty generous. I'm sure I could take one of these spiders, right? With just my shitty spear. Oh. Getting sim ant flashbacks. Oh, and I'm dead. It had to be orb weavers, too. They're like pretty big compared to some of the other spiders we could run into. Respawn. I noticed that the quit option was super quit. Like, rage quit. Okay, so I think I dropped all my stuff, but as you see, there is a backpack there in the world. So we gotta reclaim it. I would also figure you can probably set your spawn once you build, you know, a bed or whatever. Yeah, lean to. If I look at the house long enough, will it come into focus? It's like a shitty old shack. I mean, I think this definitely stands out from the other survival crafting games in terms of its theme. And it does seem a little more generous and a little less oppressively survival-y than some of the other ones. Of which I have played quite a few, so I feel like I have a, a decent frame of reference 
for how shitty and like starving in three seconds these can get. I suppose my journal will tell me what I can do with this. Poke around at all the bits and pieces of this potentially sensitive technology. There we go. I feel like I didn't get an option to press that before. Unblock the obstructed laser. Find is what is weakening one of the lasers. Probably the wiring. Okay, so... To unblock that, we need to cut that piece of grass down. So we're gonna have to go get our backpack back, I think. If we can somehow get it from the spider and then sneak away. Because I get the feeling that spider's probably faster than me. We could say fuck it and just abandon it for, you know, making a new axe instead. But I've never been one to give up even when it's smart to do so. Take what's mine. Actually, the spider just kind of wandered off, so... Take all. And then run the hell away. Alright, I guess they don't have all of his voice lines yet for this area. Personal log. The scab is a cutting-edge biomonitoring scanner bracelet and a familiar wristwatch form factor. He was talking about how it's getting late in the background. I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Almond may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in... Four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. An auspicious beginning. All these weird acronyms that are just one part acronym and the rest are just the word. Alright. Let's analyze some more goop. Plant lamp, workbench, and sconce. Clover poncho. Clover shin guards, clover hood, roof, roof corner, roof interior corner. Armor glue and stuffed mite. Alright. So now we want to go back to the machine, which is straight ahead. Avoiding the spiders. Chop can. Chop. It's because it's Choda Pop. Don't know if we have a carry weight limit. The brave adventurer strode forth, approaching the mouth of the foreboding cave. Horrors wait within. All right. Little bitty spiders. Oh yeah, that's a spider nest type place. Let us not go in there just yet. Actually, yeah, there's the cave. Okay, I was gonna say it's not much of a cave, but there is one under it. Am I going the right way? More or less. 
We'll just build a lean-to on top of the mysterious device. Oh, I guess I could just look up and I see the lasers. Anything in here? Nope, just roots. Can always just hear pitter-pattering around. I think I see... Yep, a drop of water. I mean, my water needs are halfway empty. Clean. We just need to drink water that's been filtered by a piece of grass. <laughs> All right, let us make camp. Base building. Lean to. It just requires the clover leaves and sprigs. And it sounds like nighttime is extra dangerous. All right, so it's a uh, the forest type of building system. You put it down, and then you plop stuff in it. Did I sleep? I don't think I slept, but I was just hitting E, so I might have skipped it. All right, let's take down this grass. Okay, that one's good. Oh, that's the working one. Never mind. Where's the flickering one? Probably like a loose contact or something. Hmm. Everything looks good down here. I don't see anything loose or unplugged. I don't see what we'll be getting in the way, unless I have to go to the tower itself. I guess I do, because the laser is coming from the tower, not from here. So let's head off into the dark. What are these? Something I can't cut down, apparently. What do I need to make a torch? Woven fiber and dry grass chunks. Well, I don't know where I got dry grass before. Or if I got any before. Oh. That's not my spear, that's my hands. It's gonna get very dark at night. Oh, my raw gnat meat spoiled in just a single day. Okay, so the problem was gnats chewing on the wires. This doesn't seem dangerous at all. Did it work? Oh boy. 
Alert. Low health. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, I thought I would have saved when I clicked on the lean-to, but I guess I didn't actually do it. Okay, it seems to be one of those games where it gets really dark when the sun sets, but then once the moon comes out, it kind of lightens back up. so dark down here. Christ, this goes all the way underground. I'm not going into a dark tunnel with no flashlight and no <laughs> torch. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to sleep. At least there doesn't seem to be that much of a penalty for dying. It's just an inconvenience to go back and get your stuff, but... It's definitely a smaller map to have to do that in than, like, seven days to die. <laughs> Where you die and then have to walk, like, four kilometers to get your stuff back sometimes. If you're, you know, bad at planning. Set respawn point. And sleep. Perhaps we should make camp for the night? Pete, there ain't nobody else here. Who are you talking to? Alright, so I still think we need to go into the tunnel, which means we still need a light, but I need dry grass. No, don't slurp that. That is bad slurping. Okay, we need one more chunk. Fiat Luke's. Why are you like this? I'm surprised the ants don't attack you for being near the aphids, since they do kind of farm them for their sweet juices. Their sugar excretions. Alright, let's go in here. Let's turn this on. We'll probably get to the end of the current story content. And then I think that's a good look at Grounded. You know, it's cool. I'm definitely going to wait on it some more before kind of delving into it. Okay, so take out this a a room. and this. Oh boy. Not a lot of complexity to the combat. I mean, you can block and you can not get hit. I think I can also just throw my spear if I wanted to. Alright, I think we cleared them all off. Can I grab whatever these are? Slime mold stalks. Yep, just take those with us. You never know when you might need some slime mold. Slime mold torch. Okay. Is that a torch that doesn't run out because it's just a glowing piece of slime? I am kind of curious how they expand on this because, I mean, it's not a very big area. And it seems like the goal is to get the machine working so that you can unshrink yourself eventually. Oh boy, that's a very big spider. Oh boy. That, I don't think that's an orb weaver. Which means it's probably even quicker because it sounds like a ground spider. Oh, you'll never get me up here. I don't know if I can escape this spider. 
that you can't fit in here. There is safety in the machine. Mmm, I don't like this. If this was real life, this spider could absolutely fit through this gap. They're very good at folding them itself into the small gaps like that. Well, I guess I live in here now. If I had a bow, I could probably kill him here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He is nearly in here with me. Now he's in here with me. <laughs> yeah, as a wolf spider. Alright, so I guess there are multiple flavors of spider to be murdered by. I think this is a good opportunity to turn on safety spider mode. Let's see what happens. Alright, not so scary now, are ya? You, you orange-flavored marshmallow. I mean, it'll still kill the shit out of you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Let's go through the five stages of arachnophobia. Like, is there anyone who's like, you know, I'm afraid of spiders, but if they had no legs and were just floating through the air, they would be much less scary. Like, that just looks worse, because you don't know how it's chasing you. And... One, which I think is just the one where it has less legs. Yeah. I don't think anyone's gonna be like, oh, that's not a spider. It doesn't bother me at all. But maybe there are some people who are just bothered by the number of legs. The good thing is, I think I have trapped it in there. The bad thing is, my backpack is also trapped in there. With the large spider. Hmm. Let's see. Nat fuzz, sprigs, and woven fibers. Well, nat fuzz, I don't think I'm going to be able to just easily obtain. Oh, boy. All right, don't overestimate the spider, or underestimate the spider's abilities. So I wonder if that spider spawned in because I completed that objective, or if it's just I happened to stumble upon it. Because, I mean, wolf spiders do just kind of wander. That's how they hunt. They don't make webs, really. <laughs> it's still after me. I need to make arrows. Which require thistle needles. Um... Doesn't seem a lot of thistles. This thing is just going to keep harassing me. I need to investigate the machine. I think we blew up the power source. Oh, look, a ladybug. I don't know, real big. Investigate the explosion at the oak tree. Okay. Let's head to the oak tree, and then I think we'll end it there. Are you going to try to eat me? Or are you just looking for aphids? It's weird because they're like a mix of anatomically correct and yet kind of cartoonishly friendly looking. Ooh. What is that? I 
guess that was raw science? Oh, come on, you can't swim. And thus, the spider waits for its prey to drown. Not because he wishes to feed upon them, but because he's an asshole. Alright, he just kind of wandered off. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, there is a murdered aphid. Oh no, it's coming back. Alright, where the hell is the oak tree? It's not on my map. I don't know if this is the whole map. Like, there's a area over there. I think this is just the whole map right now. Baseball, chop can. I mean, I guess I'd just look up for the only big tree around. Oh my god. It's so strong. Alright, well, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to abandon our collection of stuff and head towards the oak tree. Puncho! Tropicop flavor. That didn't really look like water. It was very green. Slurp down that chlorophyll. Oh, there's like a structure over there attached to the tree. Is that a thistle needle? No? I haven't really seen any kind of thistle plants. Abandoned Ant Hill. I just totally saw an... Never mind. I was say, I just totally saw an ant, but... <laughs> it's a ladybug. Bloodthirsty gnat murderers. I do like the effect that their eyes go red when they're hostile to something. Even if it's not me. I don't like this cave. There's probably a centipede or something down here. <laughs> but there's also some kind of technology because we are a little scanner boop boop came up. Requires a busting tool. Spiders? Some kind of growth? Uh, we're not going to go in there. It does seem like acorn top. I can probably make a hat out of that. It seems like most of the stuff you want to find is guarded by, you know, hostile critters. Acorn shovel. That might actually just be sap. Like a big sap deposit we can break open. Let's check out this fire. This purple fire. <laughs> These weevil sounds. I thought this was just like a tiny meteorite. No, it is a tiny laboratory. The Oak Lab. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be re- They can't be re- Brutal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Gurgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g, -g grilling Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? 
Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Look, we had this old fast food robot. We had to do something with it. So instead of letting it go to the scrap heap, I tried to make it into my made AI. Oh, I think that was a puzzle. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to it, I just kind of flicked it. Oh, I think I got those spiders out there hostile. There's no way they can find me in here, right? Oh my god, what was that? Hostile robot. Tased. I don't have... It's got so much health. Protect me, Burgle. I'm holding E. Let me try to help. There we go. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the ominent researchers. Unfortunately, this is all speculation, because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, yeah. moving on. Hey, Burgle, you think you can help me out with your buddy here? are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever g -g -g questions you might have. You found Burgle. <laughs> I didn't even get to read that message. Alright, so that was the end of the story, basically. You found the robot. Now, wait until we release more content updates. So yeah, this seems cool. I like the idea of, you know, kids trying to survive being shrunken down and dumped into this backyard where clearly some science experiments have gone awry. But I definitely want to give it some more time to develop out. I do think this would be a fun game with friends, but again... Not until you've got more to do. So, until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Grounded, and I hope to see more of this in the future. Take care, everyone.